Of the 10 regiments of William French's division of Sumner's 2nd Corps, only three had ever been in a battle. Awaiting them are two of D.H. Hill's brigades, Rhodes Alabamians and Anderson's North Carolinians, men that had seen plenty of combat. They had taken control of an old wagon shortcut, a portion of it sunken by frequent use. Hill's veterans inflict 1,700 casualties on French's division. At 10.30, reinforcements pour in on both sides. Lee commits the last of his reserves in the vicinity to extend Hill's right, while Richardson's division arrives to reinforce French. An Alabama officer ordered to realign his regiment mistakenly shouts about face amid the battle's roar. All along the sunken road, it looks as if a general retreat has been ordered. Five regiments of Confederates begin to fall back towards Sharpsburg. Lee's center is now in grave danger of collapse. You have in your wisdom permitted us to be threatened with the many evils of an unnatural and destructive war. Save us, we beseech you, from the hands of our enemies. Watch over our fathers and brothers and sons who trusted in your defense and in the righteousness of our cause have gone forth to the service of their country. Called, it's, it's called bloody line for a reason, Hawk. <laughs> Did you know that? Fire! 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 Fire!
Ramienia Celna. I watched their entire line display yet. <laughs> <laughs> 